Good morning, good morning, good morning. Welcome everyone. Uh, pretty big day, so please come in, enjoy, take off your shoes, like let your hair down. All right, so um, congratulations, everyone. We are now the only platform with um, intelligence automation from end to end. That's really cool. Um, I can't actually stress that enough. In fact, before I was walking around outside, just kind of absorbing what we've achieved, there is nowhere that you can go buy crypto by opting into a reputable, like Stripe is the largest financial tech company in the world. A reputable financial tech company, allow it to be automated and then have a full custom build out in the delivery. So I, who know nothing about crypto, oh, there's Rhino, opt in, wallet address, all right, how do I do that? Oh, I don't know how to do it, let me contact V, they have a concierge department, okay, that's my wallet address, here, I'm done. Set it and invest, done. And actually, I see Brian saying good morning. Brian will tell you, I messaged him last night at 9.30 at night to go ahead and check his wallet. Um, that's how late we were going. Um, so it's really, really cool. So now today, 123 um, of us received our, our test, right? Five coin. Um, I believe we sent out maybe 130, which means seven did not. And because I'm just abundantly lucky, those seven um, have emailed me right away to let me know that they are those seven. To anyone that has not received coin, I'd like to share with you something. We are literally inventing something new. Now, a lot of people have not been part of something where you're inventing. Let me share with you what that journey looks like. A lot of headaches. That's the journey. You have a lot of headaches. Because the belief is that if you go ahead and accomplish what you set out to invent, that when you go ahead and cross the finish line, you're high-fiving and you're showered in gold and you're able to make decisions that normally or, or alternatively you wouldn't have been able to. You're in a position of power. You're in a position of financial resources that you never thought you'd be in because you are now in a position to offer something to the world that has never existed before. And to be in that position allows you to go ahead and reap the most reward in terms of personal gain, financial gain, and just a sense of well-being. To get from point A to that point requires a lot. A, you have to actually identify something that's worth inventing. B, you have to decide how to invent it because if it was so easy, someone else would have done it. And C, along the entire path, you have to wake up every morning not knowing at least 10 things that are going to happen that day. Um, so if you are one of the handful of accounts that did not receive your five coin, there's two things we can do. One, you can email me and question the integrity of what we're doing. Or you can email me and say, hey, Ant, I was one of them that did not um, receive the coin. Uh, here's my wallet address. Here's the platform. What can I offer you to help in solving that I could go ahead and, and receive my coin? Because the alternative is that you believe that you're the one person that I decided to go ahead and keep the five coin and said, ha, 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 I'm going to keep this five coin. And this five coin is worth so much that that person I'm going to make sure gets taken over and they're going to go tell everyone um, how bad of experience it is. And our entire platform that's built on having never, ever taken, um, have never, ever taken advantage of anyone is now lost that premier, um, uh, uh, what's the word, reputation. So if that's what you think, well, silly, silly little Billy. Um, but also, I'm just venting a little bit because I want to and because I love you, right? Like you allow me to. But the other end of it is Anthony. Well, this is what you should expect, right? Like you just shared with us when you're inventing something, you don't know what's going to happen, but you have to go ahead and just take it all in. Um, so it's done, it's poof, it's in the atmosphere. So we have a long day ahead of us because we do have to identify why certain wallets didn't receive it. And mind you, it might be just user error, right? Like it could be that the wallet that we sent to one of the numbers was wrong, 
or that it was the wrong address or it was on the Ethereum network, right? Like there's so much stuff that now we need to go ahead and figure out, but that's okay. That doesn't matter at all. What matters is we just invented the first ever end-to-end -end intelligent automation. It, there is not a place in the world. See, Michelle got her coin. Thank you. And you know what? I got a couple other emails. Anthony, wow, I got my coin. In fact, Brian messaged me last night at seven o'clock. Hey, Aunt, just letting you know, I did not receive my coin yet. I hope that helps because Brian is a quality human being. And then at 930, I messaged him and I go, hey, could you check now? And he goes, oh my God, I got it. And I said, wow, this is how this experience is supposed to be, which is why Brian, we love him. So what I have to do today is identify what uh, went wrong and fix it. And then everyone who did receive their coin, you're going to receive the full balance of your coin, your weekly coin. The investment and reward coin will stay on your email. And as the platform grows, that uh, coin will be distributed to you. Yes, Robert got his coin too. Like, so I got my coin. Like, I got my five coin. V got her five coin. My wife didn't because she's too cool to make a wallet. <laughs> but she did make it today. So that's kind of cool. So she'll get her five coin. Um, and actually, as I was writing the email today, it, it dawned on me like Bitcoin versus other coins in, in our universe, right? So you can say, Anthony, these coins are wildly different because they have different protocols and different projects and blah, blah, blah. And I'm sure you're right. But unless the market is educated on those differences, they don't value them on the differences. And what I mean by that is if only I like, Half of, half of, a, if only 1% of 1% of 1% know those differences, well, that small segment isn't large enough to create the market price for that segment because the overall market will go ahead and say, well, yeah, I'm sure you're right, but we believe it's worth this. Therefore, um, our market value is, is, is more efficient than yours because we represent more money. The point of me saying that is Bitcoin, when it was created, was created as kind of the reserve currency. Like Bitcoin is safe. It, uh, it has only 21.6 million coin or whatever. It, it, it mines every four years. And again, I'm being very, very cavalier with the facts, right? Like, but those, but what I said is the general consensus, right? Like there's a certain amount, it's, uh, it's scarce, it holds up under value, blah, blah, blah. But the general public doesn't look at Bitcoin as, all right, this is the world reserve currency. In fact, they do, but they don't act on it. They're, they're not able to participate in it because they don't know about crypto. They don't know how to buy it and where to buy it and how to buy it. And if they want to redeem it, where do they sell it? How do they send it? It's too much stuff. So what we always believed was, okay, we can go ahead and solve that component because it is our beliefs that the behavior, um, the behavioral economics around Bitcoin is one of which accessibility, not messaging. So if we were able to build a better mousetrap per se, if we were able to build an end-to-end -end intelligent automation along the whole way, where all you had to do was set it and invest in it, well, is that something that has a larger market? Is there a larger amount of people that would say, I, ra I understand that, so I'm going to participate in that, rather than I understand that, but the protocols aren't uh, what Bitcoin is, therefore I'm not going to invest in that. And we believe that the overall majority of the population is looking for a way into the market that they can trust, but that they understand how to do it. They understand how to subscribe to a weekly recurring. They do it with their 401k. They do it with their social. Like they understand that stuff. They understand how to opt in and opt out. They understand how to adjust and they understand how to sell. Okay, I could sell, bing, done. They understand how to invest. They understand account value. They understand what it's like to have accountability. They understand what it's like to see a face in front of them. They understand what it's like to email and get an email back. They understand what it's like to go ahead and see a, a, a live meeting every day. They understand what it's like to get a live update email every day. They understand that stuff. And when you understand that stuff and that's more comfortable, then you are the market. What we've always said is there's strength in numbers. If the overall majority of the world believes the sky is purple, who is the minority to say it's not purple? 
In fact, the minority would be wrong. They were always thinking purple was actually called the blue. Strength is always in numbers. And if we go ahead and create the platform that allows the overall majority to finally feel comfortable and finally feel safe and finally be able to participate in something, does it matter that the protocol isn't as intense as Bitcoin? You know what happens to the protocol of Bitcoin? It then gets used inside of our platform because it's a great technology, it's a great software. But if no one cares about it and no one wants to go ahead and do the work or complicate their lives to learn how to participate in it, then it doesn't matter. In fact, the smartest people in the world are the ones with the least amount of friends. And that's not because they're not friendly, but it's because they're operating at such a different level that the vast majority doesn't actually have a way to participate with them. Therefore, if you're able to go ahead and identify the most convoluted, complicated, high-tech software and simply package it within a platform that offers everyone an ability to interact and participate and talk, then what did you do? I think you created the new digital currency. I think you created the new world reserve currency of digital. Um, did we do that? I think so. Um, now there's a lot to go and we're gonna do the testing and we're gonna get in touch with everyone. I couldn't register a wallet, could you walk? Yeah. So Frida, can you email V? So V-E-E -E at rhinostreet.com. In fact, I'll email both of y'all. V, first of all, let me tell you something about V. The majority of our platform is what, how, what do you, what would you say? We're kind of all like 40 plus, not really great with computers. To have 123 successful wallet address sends, with cryptocurrency being the most complicated thing in the world, the common denominator is that V has made it so digestible. She's been so amazing at being able to explain it that it's she's worth her weight in gold, right? So please, I, I want to say that out loud, um, but I also want to share a little bit of encouragement. Uh, Frida and anyone, please email V. Um, she's really, really great. Uh, so please do that. It's not accepting my zip code. I am kind of think you're doing something differently then. Oh, the, the platform itself, like TrustWallet or MetaMask? Because um, that's something different. We don't, we don't own those. Those are just platforms that we've been using. All right, so how about this? It's um, two minutes over. I don't like being over because everyone has complimented Anthony when you're 10 minutes, it really is ideal. Frida, please email V and let's go about it that way. Um, I do have some other updates for you, but first, uh, well, actually, I'm going to have to share them tomorrow because we're out of time today. But if you are not in Rhino, please just sign up. The email today was like, just sign up. I'll say the last thing, right? So I... I sometimes am a victim of my own, you know, um, intelligence. And I don't mean that in like a condescending way or a bloviating way. I sometimes have a hard time describing something in layman's terms in a way that just makes sense to people. And for instance, our platform, we're, we're asking everyone just to participate at a dollar level. And if you like it, please continue. But if not, opt out and we'll, you know, we'll, we'll part as friends. And to get that dollar, I am talking about well, this volume divided by this supply and this get like a whole bunch of stuff that's like, Anthony, you are really getting in the minutia of things. And it dawned on me, if I bumped into you at a coffee shop, you would offer to buy me a cup of coffee. I'd offer you to buy, I'd offer you to buy, I'd offer to buy you a cup of coffee. Coffee's like $3. That's three weeks of being a part of our platform that I believe is going to change the world and change everyone's life. How is it that I'm not just saying, guys, it's a dollar, trust me, just get in? How does that not make sense? How is that not something that's acceptable? How have I not done that? And if you want to participate at higher levels, yes, I'm here to go ahead and share all the, all the minutiae, all the molecular and, 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 and all the details. But guys, if, if you're here with me, you know me at a certain point, it's a dollar, please. All right, I'm gonna go. I love all y'all. Congratulations. We invented something. Let's go ahead and fix it. Everyone that got coins going to receive their balance of coin today. And um, super cool. Everyone keep working. I love you. Bye. Ciao, baby. Love